channel I know that it's been a minute it's been three months how have I been doing where have I been how is work going I know I know I said I was gonna be doing videos every two weeks and I messed up my bad life got hard you know stuff happens but I'm back so <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed let's start there subscribe and if you think based on my previous videos this is the channel for you go ahead and hit the bell button too just do both just knock it out the way that way you don't have to think about it okay well where have i been oops sorry sorry guys where have i been so i've been here in virginia um let me tell you i think uh, the growth that has taken place in between January and it is now April has been exponential. I say that because when you graduate from school, after being in school for six years straight and the constant cycle, it kind of becomes routine, study, test, do this, do that. You adapt, right? But then when you move out on your own officially, you learn so much about yourself. What you know, what you don't know, um, what you need to know, a lot. And so I've been navigating my way through this thing called life, right? And it has been a journey thus far. And when I say that, I mean that in a good way. And I also mean that in a challenging way. Um, with work, as you know, or as you probably heard um, from other PA PA professionals that have recently graduated your first year is your worst year um, or your roughest year so to speak can't say that you can't be flawless and awesome in your first year kudos to the people that are but um, for me I absolutely love psychiatry um, like I tell many people I did not pick psychiatry it picked me meaning um, I wanted to do cardiology pediatric cardiology to be specific and uh, when I got in PA school and started learning cardio it just wasn't me and so I was thinking let's go to family medicine route and uh, I went on my psychiatry rotation and fell in love with it couldn't stop thinking about it every other rotation from then for um, I was just like psych psych looking for psych looking for psych patients especially in the ER rotation loved it you know, I focused on that more than anything else and not purposely. It's just that that's what I was drawn to, never understood it. And then when I got out of school and got the job position for outpatient psych, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. This is what I'm, I'm meant to do. And I just have this joy about it, just this love for being able to connect with people on more of a personal level. Even though it's still medicine, I feel like psychiatry is more of its own entity of medicine where we get to connect with people on more of a, like, what's going on in your household? What's going on in your mind? Mental health? Like, how do you feel? Are you sleeping okay? How are your moods? Do you have anxiety? Um, or are you having panic attacks? You know, it can be very debilitating having a mental health issue and not getting treatment for it or not being aware of the signs or the symptoms or like if your family didn't have that type of background where you guys talked about mental health or even acknowledged it um it can be rough so before i get into my soapbox as you can tell i'm real passionate about mental health um about what i do I'm going to stop right here because that's going to be another video. I'm back on my A-game, guys, so I'm back. You got me back. You can expect a new video from me every two weeks. But what I'm supposed to be talking about is this next half of the video that has been recorded over multiple days over the past couple of months, sporadic little endeavors that I went on with others um, around the city of Virginia, Roanoke, Virginia, and um, little fun things and moments that I, I've had over the last couple of months. So this has nothing to do with medicine. 
Um, I do have a couple of videos and a couple of clips in my office where I give you guys a tour and I tell you a little bit about how I'm feeling to be in my own office. This is more so back in January when I was first starting out. So some of these clips are old, but since I haven't made a video in such a long time, I did not stop. That does not mean that I stopped filming. I kept filming and documenting little events and exciting things in my life as I'm here and navigating my way through things. But as you could imagine, with a move and everything, you have a lot to adapt to. You're doing a lot. You're getting ready for a lot, especially starting your career. And so it has been hectic. But I promise you, I mean, if you find this video boring, I apologize. But I'll have better content coming soon. I feel like my content is good content. I don't feel like it's boring, but maybe it's just because it's my content. I don't know. But um, I hope that you like my videos. I hope that you subscribe. I hope you come back. And I hope that you look forward to hearing from me every two weeks because you definitely will. Um, but as for this next half of the video, we're about to transition into a couple of old videos, a couple of moments I've had with some awesome females and males that I have met here um, that actually have turned into some awesome friends. They look out for me and they have taken me around their city and shown me a couple of good things, fun things. And if you don't follow me on social media, follow me at Dreams Inspire Life because a lot of things that I didn't get a chance to video, I photographed. So it's on Instagram. So just follow me on there. And um, as always, I hope you guys are taking good care of yourself. I hope that your your mental health is doing well and that if you're going through anything please don't hesitate to reach out to a family member a friend anyone where you can voice what you're going through it doesn't it's not worth it to be silent about and um, if you have any questions for me I've been getting a couple of DMs about how I feel in psychiatry how I feel about MP versus PA versus RN versus 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 um, any question you have don't hesitate to email me about it i will respond and um if you have a video that you want me to do a certain topic on don't feel free to come i mean feel free don't hesitate was what i was trying to say don't hesitate to leave a comment below and i'll see you guys soon I don't like it here. <laughs> oh my goodness! And they even have this. It's so pretty. I see that. Millions of people out here. I know y'all probably cannot see it, but there's millions of people out here. Oh my god. A whole This is Catherine. <laughs> So I'm currently 
recently found my spot called Caribbean Soul and I got me some carry goats, plantains, and rice and beans. You talk about culture, honey, listen. Cat over there getting a, a guy, I call it a gyro, she said it's a euro. I call it a gyro. We gonna figure it out one day. Um, yes. That's just how I'm feeling, like, yes to the culture, like, they got some good stuff. So I'm, like, I'm very happy. Oh. <laughs> hey, cat. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's gonna take a lot. We'll, we'll drink some of that. We got some, you know, extra immune fighting system stuff and some tea, like. And I was like, no, thank you. Yeah, I was here at Martin's, as you can see. I tried to do a shoot and it's too dark and it's too cold so we're gonna try again when the sun comes out okay good morning lovies so I am currently in my office um, I just walked into work so let me show you around so from the time you walk in this is basically my office nothing fancy um, this is my office I'm about to turn these lights off a little bit. As you can see, I gotta do some more decorating. So good morning, everyone. Um, finally, I'm able to put myself on camera because I got myself together now. So what I'm about to show you is mostly the downtown area. Um, it is Sunday and I am headed to church. So hopefully y'all will get a chance to see the downtown area, see what it's looking like. Um, I might be able to record a little bit as I'm passing through so you can kind of see a little bit of the overview of the city. But over the next couple of weeks, I plan to go downtown, explore, check out a couple of places and see for myself. So as promised, I will take you along with me. So um, I hope you enjoy. Day. Today will be my second Sunday at my new church home, um, which is downtown, and I'm glad that it is because I get a chance to explore a little bit today, even though a lot of places might not be open, but as promised, I'll get a chance to take you with me, and you be the eyes and ears as I explore. So I hope you enjoy this, um, this video, so let's just jump right into it. Currently, the wind is blowing like nobody's business, but I am downtown and um, in the streets. So I'm going to this little thing called Breadcraft. Um, it looks interesting, plus, this is the closest thing to a coffee shop I see around here. Um, so, I just want to check it out and take you guys with me. So, let's see what's up. That is not so windy. Um, come back down here. I mean, it's nice. It's one of the nicest days we had in a while. But as y'all could see, that wind was fierce. Jeez. Yeah, I'm going to check back in with y'all another day. Like